Yes, here we go again. So now we're into the nine plus uh, age group. This is the biggest area, um, basically both sales wise, section wise. It's it's just a huge growth area in the last few years and uh, hugely popular and none more so than our good friend uh, Whippy Kid. Um, Whippy Kid The Long Haul is book nine in the series. This is uh, anybody who knows National Lampoons. This is National Lampoons with the Hefnies. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, this series is, is just, just Brilliant. Jeff Kinney is, is a genius and um, it's really really strong so not much time to dwell on it because it's just so obvious Wimpy Kid long haul absolutely love it brilliant stuff and like that a man who's um, you know moved on from Little Britain you know you hear stories of oh the guy from Little Britain's writing children's books you go oh here we go celebrities well actually what he's done is um, people you know when you say he's Roald Dahl-esque it's probably more to do with the fact the way he kind of the kids are the heroes and the the adults are kind of slightly, you know, the idiots. Um, but he's, he's absolutely fantastic. He's so popular, an awful auntie, and she is an awful auntie. Um, these are, you know, kind of dark books, but they're in again in a rolled out way. But um, he's huge, 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 massively popular now. Everybody loves him to death. And um, this is the latest in the series. And uh, really strong stuff. Um, so they're two absolutely mega, mega hits. Uh, another breakout and uh, kind of well, it's not even a breakout at this stage. Um, it's kind of book uh, seven or eight in the series, and Nicky Rules is um, Dork Diaries, Once Upon a Dork, um, and it's exactly, this is the Wimpy Kid genre purely for girls, there's so many in that genre now, but um, this again is a really, you can see it's all sparkly and lovely, uh, but um, it, she's absolutely hilariously funny, and Nicky Maxwell is this, you know, crazy kooky character, and kind of girl, a lot of girl power going on and stuff, but um, really, really strong, fantastic jackets as usual. Um, but really, the American series that I'm a big fan of, and um, girls seem to be massively huge and popular. Um, a man, um, I, I now and then I will say the word obsessed. Yes, I am obsessed. Timmy Fader, Stefan Fatis. Um, Timmy Fader is, you know, Fader is an option. I always remember that. Um, this guy is absolutely brilliant. Total, his, uh, his polar bear crime detective partner um, reminds me of the Hong Kong foodie days. If you know the captain, then he doesn't. But um. These are just brilliantly, brilliantly illustrated, brilliantly funny. Um, Timmy is just, just so brilliant. And uh, again, as a, as a new breakout kind of in the genre, this is the third book in the series, uh, and I highly recommend Timmy Failure. I can't recommend it more. Uh, so please uh, keep an eye on Timmy. Um, then you've got Got Girl, one of the books from last year that uh, I suppose it's the best way to describe it. Like you can see, it's absolutely gorgeously produced. It's like it's all shiny and lovely, and the red like, borders and the illustrated Chris Riddell. This is absolutely like, you know, if your child is starting off early as an emo, this is the book for them. And um, it's it's you know it's brilliant. It's quirky. It's ghosty. There's monsters. There's Bake Offs. There's um. It's it just goes on for all. And you can see the illustrations are just amazing. So it's kind of you know again nine ten, and I just can't recommend Cotton Girl. Um. Everybody knows Michael Morpurgo. This is his latest World War uh, One novel, uh, loosely based around the Lusitania, and I'd highly recommend it because uh, it's Michael Morpurgo, and he's massive obviously with schools and obviously War Horse, but uh, brand new in the series, and he's just you know, just brilliant books that uh, do really really nicely. So great one for Christmas for Michael Morpurgo. Um, wouldn't be Christmas without Jacqueline. Um, again, um, really, this is probably one of her strongest. Um, Characters to date, um, Uncle Pumstead is a fantastic um, kind of character, and it's just again, it's it's Jackie. We love Jackie. She rocks. Um, this is the latest one set in around nineteen thirteen, um, and the factories and suffragettes and things. But definitely, 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 you know, again, really, really strong. A very important author that really, really kids love. So that's that. Uh, Mr. Landy is the last in the series. It's been out now since September. Everybody loves it, everybody's crying now because it's over, what's he going to do next? But if you haven't got it, obviously the final book in the series, if you haven't read this series, anyone age 9, 10 and beyond, fantastically, you know, the, the further it's gone, the darker it's got, so that's that. Final Percy Jackson in the Heroes of Olympus series, um, again, really, really strong series, a bit, obviously the movie helped quite a lot, but um, this is a really, really excellent series that uh, it's now finished off and Rick Riordan now is off to separate series so that is Percy Jackson and um, people calling it well I'm calling it uh, the Irish wimpy kid uh, this is moon boy and um, the blunder years yes there is a TV show that's slightly aimed older and um, but this is actually age for nine plus for that wimpy kid and has been a huge success since it came out 
um, really, really fantastic stuff. Um, imaginary French, or who doesn't have one? Um, but really, Chris, um, Chris O'Dowd and Nick V. Murphy, um, really, really funny guys, really, really funny book, and it seems to have captured the imagination of the Irish public. So that's that. Nearly there, so don't fall asleep just yet. Uh, Roddy Doyle, brilliant. It's Roddy Doyle. It's brilliant. That's all you need to know. Um, another Irish, some really strong Irish ones actually. Uh, this is, you know, obviously, the Moon Boy. There's the Roddy Doyle. Uh, Dangerous Everywhere is again Chris Judge. He's back and he's with David O'Doherty. David O'Doherty, um, mad as a brush. This book is absolutely, you know, kind of this doctor, um, this guy going around, Noel's on, goes around and just kind of. You know, doesn't fight sharks, but he goes around giving you tips on how to avoid many, many things. But really, really funny, very witty, great illustrations throughout. Uh, and it's kind of the National Geographic for crazy people. Uh, love it. That's dangerous everywhere. And then finally, the last three, again, all Irish, some really, really strong, is Rebecca is Always Right from Anna Carey. Uh, really, really strong series. Uh, has done fantastically well over the last few years. So this is the latest one. That series. Judy Curtin, uh, Viva Alice, love Judy Curtin, Irish Jack and Wilson, that's all you need to know. Um, new jackets look great, so we love that. And then finally, Beyond the Stars, 12 tales, Irish illustrators, Irish novelists, or storytellers, authors, um, all together in one book, in aid of fighting word, um, and it's really, really fantastic. Beautiful illustrations there, but beautiful illustrations throughout. Everybody's in there that you need to know, um, so that's Beyond the Stars. <sighs> That is a, there's a lot, and there's even more, but we'll stick at that, and that is the 9 plus uh, category, 9 to 12. And, um, so the 3 for 2 range, it's everywhere, store, online, have a look, there's so much to choose from. That is the...